All right, these are the replays from Stormy Sensei Summer Smash Fist number 26. We're about to watch Winners Round 2, which is Winners Semifinals. We're seeing Pi versus Destroyer. Looks like it was Kirby DDD both times. Or both games. Alright, so I think that this is an unwinnable matchup for Kirby, but M Destroyer gets better and better at this matchup every single year. And I can tell he's putting in the work. I right, look at this. Look at that. The reason why I think it's not winnable is mostly because DDD kind of just doesn't have to engage with Kirby. He's got similar airspeed to him, so he can actually edge guard him. And he dies way later than Kirby does. And so you can just like throw hammers at him. Didn't count his jumps. Ooh, the reverse inhale. I should do that more often. I never do that because I would have, if I did both options or all three, because you can do reverse momentum inhale, and that's by pressing B followed by the other direction. Or you can just do same momentum turn around inhale, which is uh, the direction followed by B, and then you can do wave bounce inhale, which is direction B, opposite direction. But it's too much to think about in the heat of the moment, so I just always do one, and I only do that one option. I was pretty desperate. I would have done this. If, I, if you're going to run all the way across the stage and then do like a super late option like that, I would at least do um, forward smash. Right, we got ourselves an even match here. Another reverse B. I always has the uh, the new DDD tech for me to, to learn. I just do the neutral and the punish. Oh, that would have been death. If you got that for sure, it would have been down tilt, down tilt, uh, forward smash, and you would have died. Let's trump. It would have worked. <coughs> I thought he might have been going for the, um, what is that thing called? Not up dogs, but the, uh, the bird, that's what it is. Upper inhale release. Uh, what is the D stand for? Ooh, that's a weak shield. <coughs> so this is like top player stuff here because uh, if I had missed that back air when he was charging a forward smash in the opposite direction, I might have a little piece of my brain thinking, man, I could have already won this game, and now I might lose, and it's because I missed that, messed up that punish. And when that happens, you just kind of got to like run to the opposite side of the stage and just like let all, that, all those thoughts finish, and then get back into the game. Or just like be in that situation so many times that you just don't think about it and say, I'm still going to win. And on the opposite side, as the losing player that should have lost, you should say to yourself, oh man, I definitely should have already lost, but now that I've gotten this opportunity, I'm going to make this comeback and win. <laughs> so you got to DI out, apparently, in order to get avoid the uh, back air there. Uh, 
Oh no, he knows. He knows the dare rides. Oh no. I was very lucky to not get hit by those. I wonder why Pi would choose Battlefield against Kirby. And I did say that he is more comfortable with DDD on Battlefield than I am. Swat him out of the air. Good job. Alright. I like that one, but not a word. But two of the life trumps that I called out would have worked. Pretty impressive. I'm liking M Destroyer's solutions to DDD. I can't be convinced that it's the winning matchup because I know Kirby too well and I know DDD too well, but you know, if I were able to be convinced, you might be able to convince me. 